What's good, family? It's your boy, Rail. And I just want to get in this little rant about LeBron and Steph Curry and who error it is. And I just want to give my opinion on which, which, who, which guy I feel error it is, pretty much. So I'm going to start by saying, I'm going to start going with LeBron at first. I'm going to break down, you know, the things about LeBron, the arguments of people use for LeBron. You know, which is LeBron has four rings. LeBron has been to the finals 10 times. LeBron has been MVP four times. Four times, five times, one of them. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I know it's either one. But, and LeBron, hands down, one of the best players in history. Some will say number one, some will say number two. You know, that's another argument for another day. But we talking about who era, who has run this era right now. So, and LeBron has changed a lot of things with free agency and everything too. So LeBron has had a major impact on this league. LeBron has... He's the first player, active player, to, to make a billion dollars. So LeBron is does a lot off the court, and LeBron is in politics. He's an activist. You know, LeBron is, you know, he does a lot. And I know some of those things, it's not about basketball, but, you know, that's his resume. But let's go to Steph Curry. Steph Curry has four rings also. Steph Curry has changed in the whole league to the point that everybody wants to shoot like Steph Curry. From seven foot three guys to the smallest guy on the court, everybody wanna be Steph Curry. Steph Curry has like I said, four rings, been to the final six times. And Steph Curry has two MVPs, one of them is unanimous. Steph Curry also is going to be a Hall of Famer. And where you rank Steph Curry amongst the tops, um, that's, you know, that's a lot of argument of what people say. A lot of people won't. You know, we'll rank them in the top 10. Some people will rank them outside the top 10 and like the top 15. You know, that's another argument for another day. Like I said, we're talking about who run this era right now. But when you look at it, then you go to the, like the finals. Steph Curry only got one final MVP, which he just won, which I feel like that really never mattered towards his resume, but, you know, some people might disagree with that. Some people might agree with me on that because I feel like Steph Curry's legacy, he has set his legacy in his league. He got everybody wanting to be like him pretty much. He got LeBron pretty much wanting to be like him in some phases of his game now. LeBron would love to play with Steph Curry because he see how great of a teammate Steph Curry is. That's why Kevin Durant went to go play in Golden State because he knew how great of a teammate Steph Curry is. He just make the game much easier for you. You can clearly see that by watching. I never played with this guy, and I can see that shit. The game looks much easier. He got three, four guys watching him, so it's easy for you to hit an open shot, drive the basket, drive to the basket, anything like that. Whatever your game is, Steph Curry is going to make your game just magnify, look even better. So with saying that, LeBron also, he's like that too. 
but I'm talking about heads on heads going against each other. In the finals, Steph Curry had three. I'm excuse me. He has, yeah, three victories over LeBron. LeBron has one victory over Steph, Steph Curry in the finals. Now, I know a lot of people would say Kevin Durant was on that team. And I'm going to tell y'all to shut up. This is basketball. Shut up. I know people be saying, oh, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant made the team unbeatable. What kind of argument is that? Like, that that's the worst argument I ever heard. Like, you guys suit up and you go out there and you play. And you give it your all. Any team can be beaten. And if you just go out there with that mind state already that y'all lost, of course y'all going to lose. That just show how this generation just, uh, and that's another argument for another day. But like I said, that team could have been beaten and teams just was going out there just making that argument like that. So I'm not trying to hear that. He has three victories over LeBron. LeBron has one over him in the finals. That's what we all play the game for at the end of the day. It's for the ring. It's for the trophy. I'm sorry to say, in my opinion, I'm going to have to give Steph Curry the he run in this era right now. Is LeBron still number one, number two on your list as great as his all time? Yes. Because individually, yes, LeBron James is a better player than Steph Curry. But on a team-wise, no, Steph Curry makes his team better. Steph Curry is a better he, – he has to be – watched he has to be controlled lebron you can you can just you know and i know lebron is getting older so it's easier to say you know trying to compare you know lebron and his older but in younger lebron that was different you know but it was still lebron had he had you know weaknesses that you can he he couldn't shoot at that time, he couldn't shoot the per, out in the perimeter. So it was things like how the Spurs used to play him. And it's things, how they won their championship against him. It's a lot like in the finals that we don't talk about. LeBron got embarrassed a lot in the finals. We don't try to talk about it. He got embarrassed by the Spurs. He got embarrassed by the Mavs. He got embarrassed by the Warriors. We don't talk about it. Like he got there. That is an achievement. That's something that, that's an accomplishment there, still getting to the finals. But LeBron has a lot of ugly losses in the finals. Steph Curry, he he went down swinging in his losses. So again, that's just my take and my little rant on who runs this era or who you know, who the captain of this era, whatever, how you want to phrase it, you know, whatever. But thanks for listening, watching. It's your boy Rev and what you want to see TV. Thanks. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. You know, I'm trying to get these numbers up, so help your boy out. Thank you.